Welcome to Chris Swift Studio. This is Chris. Today we'll be going over retiming clips and that will include setting fixed amounts for slowing down or speeding up, holding a clip and creating a freeze frame, how to reverse clips, how to preserve pitch, and also how to improve the video quality. There are many ways in Final Cut Pro 10 to do retiming. First thing you want to do is click on a clip to select it. And then you come in here to your drop down menu. Let's start with this one first, slow. Let's say I want to slow this one down by 50%. And now, if you ever get confused about these numbers for slowing your clip or making your clip go faster, there's an easy way to remember. Think of 50% as a fraction, and that's one half. So if you turn one half upside down, it's two. So the duration of your clip will be twice as long. So if your clip is three seconds, it will turn into a six second clip and it will slow down by half. Same thing with 25%, that is a fraction is one quarter, so one divided by four turned upside down is four. Duration will be four times longer or 10 times longer. And kind of the reverse with fast. Two is a fraction is two divided by one turned upside down is one half, so your clip will be one half the duration or one fourth or one eighth or one twentieth the duration and will speed up accordingly. Let's take 50%, and there it is. Now the duration of my clip is shot off the screen here, so I'll use the keyboard shortcut Shift-Z to fit everything in the timeline, and there it is. Now you go ahead and play your clip, and if you don't particularly like the speed, you want it a little faster or a little slower, just come over and grab the handles and click drag, and you can set any custom speed, actually, that you want. Okay, now that's for an entire clip. What about a range of a clip? Come over here and select the range tool, which would be keyboard shortcut R. And let's click and drag in here. And let's come back and set slow 50%. Now let me zoom in here a little bit so you can get a better idea what's going on. And now you'll see something even cooler. You've got these little handles right here. And what you can do is click and drag them to affect the transition from, in this case, normal 100% speed to slow down by half to speeding up again. So it doesn't have to be a real quick, sharp, smash cut from 100% to slow back to 100%. Just click and drag those little handles to smooth out the transition or to tighten up the transition a little bit. Okay, Command Z to jump back a step or two. Okay, and that is our fixed amount for retiming and then how to play with those amounts. Normal is pretty straightforward. If you've done uh, retiming, speeding up, slowing down, and you want it back to normal, just click on that. Uh, hold is pretty cool. If you've got, let's take this entire clip, shall we? And if I take that entire clip and then hold it, well, what's going to happen? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Use the keyboard shortcut R to get the range tool. Select a range. Now try hold and let's see what happens. There we go. It will hold. And it will hold at exactly where that frame was at the beginning of the range. And then it'll come back to normal again. Pretty cool. So think of all of this now as one frame, and that one frame is the first frame at the beginning of the range selection. Command Z to jump back again, click over here to get rid of the range. What else are we going to do? Reverse clip. That's pretty good too. If you want to play a clip backwards, if you want to play an entire clip backwards, select it and simply, pretty straightforward, hit reverse clip. Now, more interestingly, let's see what happens if we select a range of a clip, and I only want this for some reason to play backwards. Well, I can't do it. It's unavailable to me. So what I have to do is I have to get the keyboard shortcut B to get the blade tool. And then what I can do is just hover. Let's randomly click here and click here. 
press A to get the select tool back again. And this is the clip. This is the one particular section I want to run backwards. Now, if you want to do something where you want to run this backwards and then you want to run it forward again, what you can do is simply Command C to copy it. And I'm going to do a down arrow so the playhead jumps down the timeline to the next edit point and press Command V to paste it. Now I can come back here to that one particular section and reverse it. So now it's going to run backwards, yeah? And then forwards again. Okay. After you've done your retiming, and let's take, for example, this one just to set it up a little bit. Let's do a quick slow by 50%. Now, let's say when it comes to this slow down one, I want that kind of really funny effect, you know, where, where, where people play videos and it slows way down and their voices go way down in pitch. That's not the default for Final Cut Pro 10. The default is to preserve the pitch so you won't hear that low pitch on the slow or the real high squeaky if it's faster. So the way to get to change the pitch is you just want to come down here, preserve pitch, you want to turn it off. So now when you turn it off and play this, you're gonna get that low thing on the slow, or again the squeaky high-pitched helium voice if you speed the clip up. Now there's one other thing you might do if you if you're if you're not shooting in some frame rate where it, it's really pretty amenable to slow mo, like 60p or something like that. What you might this is 29.97, yeah. So it might look a little bit jumpy when it plays. Not really quite as smooth as I'd like it to be. Well, we can kind of do a good job with fixing that also when we come down here to video quality. So you've got two choices, frame blending or optical flow. Um, yeah, frame blending, what it does is it'll take the first frame and the second frame and it'll kind of blend the pixels together to try to fill in the space between the first and the second frame because, of course, it's expanded and slowed down. Uh, in optical flow, it's actually redrawing portions of a frame to fill in the blank between two frames. Optical flow, I actually like a little bit better. So you press optical flow, uh, depending on how long your clip is, you may have to wait some time uh, for this to uh, render completely. So I'm not going to do it uh, here just for the sake of time in our video. But play around with flame bl uh, frame blending and optical flow. Uh, see which effect you like better. Again, I like optical flow. Wait, you know, go outside, turn on the TV, read a book, and wait for the whole thing to render, um, and then give it a play and see how it goes. Depends on how fast your machine is, too. Mine, not particularly fast. That's about it for retiming the basic. Check out our retiming uh, the advanced where we will go over some of these other functions like blade speed and custom and automatic and speed ramp and a whole instant replay jump cut at markers and a whole bunch of other stuff. Thanks for tuning in, folks. <laughs>